uh, for the longest time, um, I felt very frustrated because people perceived me as a 16-year-old when I was 19, 20, 21. And in fact, when I started doing the series, I turned 20. So, you know, when you're 20, you, want, you don't want people thinking you're 16, you know? <laughs> this like my manhood. And, um, I, you know, being associated, I didn't want to be a teen idol. I, I didn't want any of that. You know, I'd, I'd been out, when I was a teenager, I, would, I was into like the Velvet Underground, Hendrix, Clapton Cream, B.B. Um, King, Marvin Gaye. You know, I'd seen a lot of great acts that were, you know, I grew up originally in New York till I was 11, and then I moved to Southern California during the 1960s as a teenager. And, you know, what an incredible time to be alive. And the music and the artistry that came out of that era is still, to me, unsurpassed. And certainly in the 70s, we made a lot of great records, but it was, it was spawned by the creativity and the artistic individuality of the artists then. And the Partridge family was a great uh, balance. It was kind of the last gasp of innocence. And um, families all over the world actually got to sort of relate to pop music where a lot of it was too heavy. Um, you know, parents and kids could get together and love it together. And I think that's still the case, which is why it, you know, has been such a, a remarkable success for decades now. And, you know, I'm always every day flabbergasted at kids. Um, a friend of mine said, you know, my, my sister's got grandkids. And I said, yeah, and they're four and five years old. And I, wanna, I want you to hear this. And played me the... the um, the message and it was a four or five year old kid singing I think I love you you know then going into I woke up in love this morning I'll meet you halfway but you know a lot of your medley. <laughs> yeah exactly and thankfully I'm still being able to do it now so um, but it, it you know it has an audience and kids and their parents and their parents and it you know had such an impact on on the world it was extremely well written, um, cast with a unique chemistry of actors. Uh, Shirley, Dave, Madden, Susan Day, myself, Danny Bonaducci, and you know, that the core of that, and a guest star of incredible magnitude from, you know, I bumped into Jodie Foster and she said, do you remember, I said, of course I remember, you were like 11, an incredible actress, at 11. <laughs> 